that is actually disgusting, isn't it? And I need to remove that. I uh, haven't cleaned that. Like, a fake tan last night, I haven't cleaned that. That is disgusting. I um, need to be ashamed of myself. Hello, everybody. It is me, Alice. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am doing a video of where I will kind of show you how to give yourself a little bit of a glow up. Um, I'll just be giving you, like, some little tips and tricks. And just a quick disclaimer before I do get into this video. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. And you do not need makeup or anything to make yourself look beautiful because everyone is beautiful in their own way and everyone needs to accept the body they're in and just look in the mirror and just think how lovely they are so yeah but without further ado let's go to the video so my first tip will probably be, be a, I can't even speak so my first tip will probably be an obvious one and it is makeup um so usually when girls hit puberty and everything like they start to wear makeup because everyone just um and become more self-aware and more self-conscious and everyone wants to try and impress other people so makeup is a good start and some of my favourites are the um, Maybelline Superstay Foundation this is 24 hour stay, it's full coverage and it's only 9 99 it's super cheap and they actually prefer this over the MAC foundation like it's so so good, the coverage is amazing I actually have it on today and I do have a, a quite spotty skin so if you are quite self-conscious of your spots and you want to cover them this foundation is the one to go for and they've got a wide range of shades and they also um, sell these in Superdrug for 2 for £12 at the minute and um, so you'll be saving yourself a grand total of like £6 something like that so it's worth having a look in Superdrug and um, if you are very self-conscious of like your under eyes or your spots um, the Revolution Concealer is a good one to go for. The coverage on this is amazing again and it works well with every foundation ever and it uh, lasts all day as well and it's super super good for spots and everything. Its makeup product is highlighter. Highlighter gives your skin a lovely lovely glow and makes your skin look really really glowy and um, this one is a Urban Decay highlight. You can get all the highlights of the Makeup Revolution. Highlighters are really good but the Urban Decay ones are super good as well. And highlight palettes are really good because you've got a wide range of highlight shades in there as well. My final kind of makeup product is false eyelashes. And eyelashes kind of made me glow up a bit. Um, because like I started wearing them when I was in year 10. And in year 10 I did have like a big glow up. And I used to wear false eyelashes all the time. False eyelashes do the trick. Um, because they make your eyes look a bit wider. And make you look, um, have longer eyelashes. And um, usually longer eyelashes is classed is prettier but and personally I just um, think that like it makes your eyes look more awake more open and just a bit more um, nice to see so um, these eyelashes are peaches and cream ones and you can get all sorts of brands like Tatty Lashes, you can get Ardell, you can get Sosu Lashes, any type of these but uh, um, you can buy 10 pairs of these for £20 so if I want to wear false eyelashes for school um, the peaches and cream eyelashes are the best because they're quite a uh, natural looking and you can get 10 t pairs for £20 which works out £2 each so yeah but makeup is the first way of how to give yourself a glow up and it does work so well it is so good the next tip is fake tan and you might have seen a lot of girls with fake tan fills and that is because they have either not applied it properly or they've used a very very cheap fake tan Cheap fake tans are not always the way to go. Um, if you want to have a glow up and wear fake tan, please avoid the scent. Moritz fake tan, I think it is. It's like in a white bottle because it goes green, it goes patchy. It's it's the worst smelling fake tan ever. Uh, um, the fake tans I would recommend is um, um, Sunkist fake tan. I sell this in body care for two or three pounds. Honestly, I'm wearing it today. Um, please avoid my hands because my hands are really dry hence why like it's it's like i uh, clinged onto the dryness of my hands however um, like it's a lovely natural tan and it's really nice and they've got this in every shade and then another fake tan i recommend is the bondi sand one like the bondi sand is like a higher end fake tan it's like about um, 15 pounds but it smells of coconut it doesn't have a fake tan smell and it's streak free and it's a lovely fake tan to go for and fake tan that doesn't make you look like you've been on holiday and usually when you've been on holiday um, you do look more glowy and uh, more healthier and the sun does give you a uh, glow up so you kind of like you kind of put a firm sun to your skin and it makes you give you like a glow up so fake tan is so good to go for but um, do not 
and make a gold streaky or really really orange because that will not make you give a glow up and if you are really pale like me just get a medium and if you are darker you can go for dark and ultra dark all the pale people out there who do not go for ultra dark because it'll just make you look orange and it'll just make you look stupid so go for the medium one I mean, if you are pale and have a glow up because it's perfect and sun kiss is a good fake tan to start off with because it's super cheap but so good and it's really really good for having a glow up the next few products for having a glow up is face masks and pore strips these are the best things for making your skin look clear fresh and glowy because glowy skin does make you have a, like a glow up it makes you look a lot more healthier and happier and um, so pore strips are really good for um and um, if you've got oily skin and you want to get rid of all the dirt out of your nose these are super good and you can buy five pack of these from Primark and face masks are really good so like you have like a pink clear peel off mask or a uh, sheet mask these masks will make your skin look really glowy and you'll look a lot um, healthier and you'll have a nicer skin and if you are want to wear no makeup these masks will be perfect for clearing up your skin but um, I do recommend finding masks for your skin type so say you have oily skin I recommend getting like a peel off charcoal mask and if you have got a normal skin or dry skin get like a moisturising mask because they will be perfect for your skin type but yeah face masks are great and don't always pamper yourself because pampering yourself um, will make a huge difference to your skin and your mind and your body so yeah these are perfect for having a glow up if you are still in school you probably and may know that um, girls in particular pick on people's sort of eyebrows and want to have really nice eyebrows and um, if you are wanting to glow up on your eyebrows or just your face I definitely recommend getting eyebrow waxing because it's um, super cheap and um, super easy and it's the best way to shape your eyebrows and waxing is uh, perfect for getting perfect and nice eyebrows so I actually do wax my eyebrows myself and I do offer eyebrow waxing treatment from home so if you are watching this and you are living in the, in the Carlisle area please follow my Facebook and Instagram account Makeup by Alex Holmes and um, you'll be able to get eyebrow treatment off me but um, eyebrow waxing is perfect for getting all the straight hairs and shape your eyebrows perfectly and also eyebrow tinting if you do have really light eyebrows it'll make your eyebrows have a little bit of a glow up which will be really nice and will make you look um, really nice with no makeup on as well which is also a really good thing to have as well. The tip for if you want to have a glow up is um, maybe order like clothes online or maybe shop in different places to where like you would usually shop and um, maybe shop at like uh, more grown up places so if you are shopping at like H&M say on New Look and um, maybe like order online a pretty little thing or misguided or um, you can either go uh, uh, shopping in River Island and Topshop because they have like all the person's clothes and if you are want to have a bit of a glow up maybe go to places where you don't really shop up and you might find some really really nice clothes that will make you look a bit older maybe um, so that is always a good tip for if you want to have a glow up is to get like a new wardrobe and shop around at different places as well so yeah my final tip will probably be an obvious one again and it is um, basically straightening or curling your hair um, so sometimes um, like you might just not bother with your hair but and the way your hair looks makes a huge difference and will make you glow up. So, so you have um, naturally wavy hair like myself here. Um, straightening it and um, will make it look really nice and will make it um, just look really nice and make you look more presentable. And also um, curling your hair will make you look really nice and well presented. And curling your hair can really change the way you look as well like face shape wise and can make you glow up more. Uh, as well because hair curls are just so nice and just so pretty and it is really attractive and it's really nice and all the boys or girls will be after you if you have your hair curled because it just looks so nice in girls and boys so yeah that is my final tip so guys this is the end of my video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and please also subscribe to my channel as well and if you guys ever do need to message me make sure to message me on my instagram it is alice.holmes underscore and i will happily reply to you guys but anyway i will see you guys in my next video bye guys